if you're coming to Senegal, you have to stay at this hotel. So we have just checked into our safari lodge here in Fatala National Park in Senegal and it is really, really lovely. It's really luxurious feeling and yeah, just a really nice relaxing place to be. So let me show you around. So we were staying in the newly renovated giraffe tent and this is what they look like from outside. They're all completely self-contained. They have a little seating area, no table or anything, but a couple of chairs on the terrace. And then you go in and there's a huge four poster bed here. This was so comfy. It was incredible. Good mosquito net as well. Little seating area, which was nice and lots of sort of little tables and places to put our bags and things. It all felt very, very spacious. There was another little light like, getting ready area here with a hairdryer and a mirror. And then there were plenty of shelves. There was loads of storage actually. More storage than we've got in our flat at home. Here there were two sinks. So this is kind of the bathroom area of the tent. It wasn't completely separate, but it was separate enough. <laughs> As you can see there was a freestanding bath here which was amazing, toilet, the toilet was just a normal plumbed in toilet and if we wanted a shower we used the outdoor shower. So this was completely like we had full privacy but it had hot water and it was a very nice shower. On the other side of the bed there was also coffee making facilities and a fridge. I was very, very happy about this safari tent. And once we'd settled in, we went up to the pool restaurant area to have some lunch. This was a really delicious yeah, salad. You. And then we also had this cheese and tomato toasty. And it was delicious, like really exquisite food. Then we just chilled out around the pool for a couple of hours, which was again, really, really nice. It doesn't look it, but it was very, very warm. So it was a really good spot to chill out in. This is so relaxing. I feel like I'm at an all natural spa. We've just been in the swimming pool for a while and now I'm just walking back to the um, safari tent now. And I'm gonna have a bath actually. I'm just yeah, feeling quite zen. Um, so I'm gonna have a bath, which I haven't had a bath in weeks. So I'm looking forward to that. And then we are going on a sundowner trip. So we're going on a boat trip around the mangroves. <laughs> Spider on my arm. I'm going on a boat trip around the mangroves with wine. So that's the best kind of boat trip. <laughs> It does feel quite warm to be having a bath. It, is, it isn't as warm today as it was yesterday. Yesterday on the Salim Delta, it was like 36 degrees. Here, it feels about 28, 29, something like that. Probably just under 30. But I can never pass by a bath when I see one. We actually, um, our flat doesn't have a bath. <laughs> and I love a bath. So whenever I'm like in a hotel room that has a bath, I'm like, right, bath time. So, just running that now and gonna just sit and relax for about half an hour or so. So I am boat tour ready. So yeah, we're getting picked up in about 15 minutes or so and then getting on a boat to go and see these mangroves. This was the main lobby of the lodge. And then we headed out in a four wheel drive vehicle to head to the mangroves. So we did do some quite intense four wheel driving here. Well, we didn't drive. Um, we had a very skilled driver who navigated the tracks expertly. And it was about a 40, 45 minute drive or so, but it was, it was a cool, it was an adventure doing the four wheel driving. So really enjoyed it. Didn't see too much wildlife as of yet, but it's all to come and eventually we made it to the mangroves. So we headed out on the boat and the idea was to just sail around for a bit and see what we could see. We did spot a crocodile fairly early on and there was so much bird life here. We had an excellent guide called Mamadou and he had such a good eye for seeing bird life and he always knew exactly which bird it was even if it was from quite a long way away. We actually sailed really close to the Gambia 
um, we were right by the border at one point as you can see from the map here and after a little while we stopped and cracked open the wine <laughs> nice the people are the same people the brothers and sisters uncles and nephews <laughs> After we'd enjoyed our drinks, we docked back up, said bye to the boat captain and climbed back on board the four-wheel drive, ready for another four-wheel driving experience back to Fatala. <laughs> and when we arrived back at the lodge, we had some antelope waiting for us to come back. They were very taken by the jeep. They were sort of staring at it for a while. <laughs> Don't think they were sure what to make of us. Okay, I might be a little bit drunk after the sundowners on the mangroves and we are midway through a bottle of wine with dinner, but we are having the best time. This place is incredible. As we were driving back, we saw um, loads, of, loads of animals and then we sort of got back just as it was getting dark, got ready and then had dinner. And the food here is amazing. Like I knew it was decent. Like they were like, yeah, it'd be fine for us to do something special with a veggie for you. Um, and they were like, yeah, we cook like whatever's in season and whatever's fresh. But oh my goodness, it is amazing. <laughs> and they've got like really excessive drinks menu as well. So yeah, just having some wine and just enjoying being here. It's incredible. Definitely recommend it. If you're ever going to Senegal, you need to stay at this safari lodge. <laughs> dinner is finished this tent is looking so cozy so i'm hoping that i'm gonna have a really good sleep and we will wake up in the morning feeling refreshed we've not actually got anything on tomorrow until the game drive at 4 p.m so we've got a really chilled out day planned for the daytime tomorrow then we've got the game drive then we'll have dinner and everything tomorrow night so here's to a good night's sleep and i will pick this up in the morning good night Good morning. I am a little bit fogged up here. It's really, really cold in the tent because the AC works really well. Then you come outside and obviously very humid. So I'm going to try and just clean up the lens here. All right, I think that is a little bit better. So good morning. We had a little bit of wine last night, so I'm feeling a little bit tired now, but I can't really sleep when there is so much going on outside in a good way, like I don't want to miss out on it. So I've just come outside and you can just hear all of the sounds of the forest. You can hear so many birds and I'm just watching these two monkeys here who have snuck into the, well, it's not, not really snuck in, they've come under the fence into the, um, like the resort and they're just, just hanging out. They were, seemed to be doing each other's hair a minute ago and now they're just kind of hanging out they are looking at me actually i think they're wondering what i'm doing as well so um yeah just having a look at them and i mean it'd be really nice if the rhino came to visit apparently there is a there's one rhino in this whole reserve and sometimes he does come to visit the resort apparently he is well friendly but you're not meant to obviously go and like touch him or anything but he doesn't like approach anyone or anything like that well, the monkeys are off so i am looking out for the rhino to just see if he is about we saw lots of antelope last night which was awesome and yeah just really excited for the day plan for the day is just chilling for most of it it's actually very blue skies this morning so that's nice so we'll just be by the pool i think just be hanging out looking out to see if any wildlife pops up while we're here and then obviously have breakfast and lunch here and like i say the food has been excellent so we'll be enjoying that i'm sure and then at four o'clock i think tonight we've got a bush drive so that's to see sort of the big animals who don't really come up to the resort like the giraffes um hopefully the rhino <laughs> and a few other animals so we'll see all of those on the bush drive and yeah that's it and then dinner so very relaxed day um but just really enjoying being in nature and just yeah enjoying the surroundings seeing what we can see so looking forward to it and then tomorrow morning we've got a bush walk so 
yeah, I don't know exactly where we're walking, but going through the bush somewhere and hopefully seeing some more animals, probably seeing some more birds. Um, we were saying, like, I'm not interested in bird watching at all at home, but it's so much more exciting here. They're so colourful and so much more, like, vibrant. So, yeah, do the bush walk tomorrow and then we're heading to Gambia. So it's a short but sweet couple of days here, but still got plenty of time to enjoy it. And I'm so glad we've come here. This is a really, really cool experience. Very random side note and just a thought while I'm taking my, my little walk around. Um, I've been painting my nails and I guess it's the humidity, but the nail polish has just been like falling off instantly. So I painted these, is it yesterday? Yeah, I painted these yesterday. I also painted them the night before and every time they've just, it's just slid off. So is that a thing? I don't know. Humidity makes nail polish fall off. If I had internet, I'd Google it. <laughs> we left our little lodge for the morning, went to have breakfast, and then just relaxed around the pool. It was so nice just to spend a bit of time just at the pool, relaxing, reading my book. Oh, this is so nice. So there were some other guests staying yesterday, but they seem to have all checked out today. So it's literally just us at the moment at this resort. And honestly, it's just unreal. Like just being in the midst of all this nature is incredible, but it's also just exceptional service. The food is excellent. Like I was expecting the food to be decent, but the food is like, do you know when it's just created with that little extra flair? Um, really nice swimming pool, swimming pool is the perfect place to cool off so yeah we are just having the best lazy day just chilling um, at this resort we do have to do have our game drive in a, in a few hours so we are going to be actually leaving the resort and seeing some animals but it's just such a nice sort of in the midst of nature experience honestly if you're coming to Senegal you have to stay at this hotel so just on our patio here um, yeah, just got a couple of chairs there and then just looks out over to the reserve and we can see some animals from here. We saw the antelope last night, I saw some monkeys this morning, so there's a decent enough view. Only small thing would be, it would be nice if there was a table here, but you can't have everything, can you? <laughs> there are a lot of bugs here, so this is essential. Um, I've been like... We've got stung a couple of times as well, so I'm laying out with bug spray before we go on our game drive very shortly. So once I had put on all the bug spray, we headed out on our game drive. So we were with Mamadou, the same guide again, and some of the guests had checked in by this point, so they also joined us on the game drive. And we drove a long way, it seemed like we were driving right into the bush. This reserve is absolutely huge and at first we didn't see much but quickly we saw this antelope and he was really cool he was stay stayed quite still for ages so we took loads and loads of photos and we turned a corner and we saw this giraffe so this was really epic I think the giraffes were my favorite out of all the animals that I saw while we were in Senegal <laughs> We got out and had some snacks and some soft drinks this time, but then we quickly got back in because there were zebra nearby. The only thing we didn't see was the one rhino who lives in the park who Mamadou named Kevin but we came back and look who was here. Kevin was right by the park fence. Mm -hmm. 
dinner time just about to head out to the restaurant here to see what's on the menu tonight the menu changes every day so we had a three course dinner yesterday and it will be a completely different three courses today so let's see what's on the menu might actually not change for me because there's a meat and fish choice every night but i told them in advance that i didn't eat meat or fish so they have prepared something for me but it might actually be the same thing as it was yesterday but that's really nice so i don't really mind <laughs> Dinner was slightly different on this night. We had a vegetable soup for starters, and then I had this like veggie couscous thing, which was quite tasty. The sauce was very nice as well. Then we went straight back to the cabin, didn't have any drinks tonight, and then went to bed, ready for our bushwalk in the morning. Good morning. Oh, I had a decent sleep last night. It's now 7 a.m. and it's just starting to get light outside and we are off on a bushwalk so I don't know what we're going to see on this bushwalk I, probably not any big animals if we're walking but let's see probably a lot of birds and things so get ready and go the bushwalk was good we just drove to this kind of like more hiking friendly area of the reserve and we saw lots of birds um, just enjoyed being in the nature really and then we met back up with the truck and had our morning coffee it is nearly time for us to check out which i am super sad about because it has been such a lovely few days here but um yeah all good things must come to an end and yeah it's just been a really nice getaway to enjoy just relaxing for a few days and um, i'm very excited about going to gambia next so do stay tuned for that video which will be up very soon and thank you so much for watching i hope this has shown you what a safari in senegal can be like maybe even inspired you to take a trip here yourself and i will see you next time bye <laughs>